very interesting to me as well in terms of access to medicine, but we know they're very complex and the goal is so big, it can get overwhelming. So how do you define success, be it in the, the initiatives that you're working on or just in general? Like, do you have a general definition that you're, you're like, okay, this is a good you know, <laughs> a measure of success within that? Is it dependent? I mean, how do you begin to start thinking about that? You're right. I I mean, that's such a general, that's such a big concept. How do you actually compartmentalize it? I don't think you can talk about success without coupling that with either purpose or mission. So individually or, you know, within the organization, really the, how do you define success? So, so maybe something tangible is, you know, as an athlete, the success is winning. And let's, for example, one can define it as winning an Olympic medal right, being, or actually even making it to the Olympic. However, for me personally, the success is the four years spent before you actually get on that mat, right? That that the time that you have actually performing at any Olympic event is very, is very finite. But the efforts that you put in in the four years and past that event is what that success is. It's that endurance. It's that growth. It's that perseverance um, is is personally what I define as success. So I think I would challenge, you know, the team or the individuals listening to say, what is your purpose and mission? And that's it'll give you clarity as to really what success means to you, Um, because because once you get that gold medal, then what? Right. I teach my athletes that that if you've worked successfully in the last four years, the medal will come. You're not working for the medal. So that, that, that's my perspective. Yeah. That's, that's, um, and it's more so the actual skills and journey, the, the journey of of achieving that one element of thinking success in that um, that time frame or that bucket.